Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is your why, wait, reasons why you're the shit reading. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Um, and I hope you guys are all doing well, okay? So welcome back, you guys. Make sure you guys hit the like button, the subscribe button if you guys enjoy the reading. And stay tuned. I got some free personal readings. Everyone's going to get three. Everyone's going to get one free monthly reading um, every month. So you guys make sure you guys tune in. And one free personal reading every month, you guys. Okay. So you guys tune in, right? I'll tell you how to do that in a moment. Let's jump in, Aries. Why are you the shit? I mean, we know already. We know. We know why you're the shit. <laughs> you already know. You're like, I know why I'm the shit. Like, really? The magician. Woo. Okay, I'm not doing reversals. This is all about you, baby. Why are you the shit? You tell the truth. You're a truth teller. You tell the truth. That's why you're the shit. You are an honest person. Trustworthy. Yeah. All right. So we have the six of cups. People miss you, Aries. And when you leave, people miss you. Seven of Cups. I feel like you're great at multitasking. That's another one. All right. You can have Gemini in your chart. You can Gemini, Virgo, and Aries all in your chart with the Magician here. Okay. I feel like you're very passionate about whatever it is you do. All right. People can see that. You make it known. I feel like you really make it known. You want people to know. Like, I don't care if it's a relationship. I don't care if it's workplace. I feel like you let people know. Like, I really love this. I really love that person. I really care about that person. That's why people like you. I feel like that's why you want the shit is like you really let people know. There's no shame. There's no like, there's no hidden agenda. There's no hidden motives. You always come with integrity. I feel like you really, really are. When it comes to the integrity, I feel like it's unmatched compared to other people. Okay. You have the nine of wands and how they feel about you. The temperance. Oh my God. Aries. People don't have to worry about you. Like, they don't have to, they don't feel like they have to walk on eight shows around you. That's another reason you're the shit. Like, you make people very comfortable, Aries. People like you. You're a likable person. A likable guy. A likable girl, okay? Um, the Nine of Wands is like enemies being near. It's in the reverse. So, I feel like people feel like you're an ally. You know, they feel like they can really trust you, all right? Wow. What else makes you the shit? Um... Aries, you are inventive. Your manifestation abilities. Actually, I'm going to say law of assumption. Like, you are somebody who understands, like, law of assumption, okay? We won't say law of attraction because, no, you already have it, Aries. You already have it, okay? Um, your ability to practice the law of assumption is, is unmistakably beautiful, charismatic, gifted, it's skillful. I feel like you could teach this if you want to. You know, if you really want to teach people how to attract, not attract, but, you know, practice the law of assumption. You could really do that if you want to. You're really good at it, okay? You got, like, a, a certain amount of, like, I don't know. Like, how, I don't know how to say this, but you got some sort, sort of spark, okay? Like, when I think of Aries, I think of, I actually think of spark. I think of spark. Like, something that, you know how when you light a fire, like, right when you're, if you're lighting a fire with rock, like, you know how it, like, creates a spark first? Like, that's what I think of when I think of Aries. Like, I think of sparks when I think of Aries, and I think of Aries when I think of sparks, okay? Like, you're getting started, right? You're getting started. I feel like you could really start something, and a lot of people will follow you, so you're a great leader. You're innovative. You have a lot of potential, Aries, okay, to do anything you want, anyone, anything you want, and in, in, in an era, I'm hearing, in any era, it doesn't matter. You could start a trend, and everybody would follow it, okay? So you have an ability to create, and your creation stand, will stand the test of time, I'm hearing, okay? I'm a little congested. I apologize, you guys. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little dizzy right now. <laughs> um, you're resourceful, okay? You are constantly finding innovative solutions to problems, all right? So, like, you guys are very, very, like, with, with a magician, this is someone who's an alchemist, okay? So, you're very, very resourceful. Um, you could be a writer. For someone here, you're a writer. So, I see lyrical genius. I wrote down artist, um, shapeshifter. This is power, alchemy, law of attraction, okay? Law of assumption, all right? Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, shit. 
another thing that people really, really, oh, well, well, another reason you are the shit, okay? I feel like you have this ability to call in the universe if you want to. Yeah, you have this really, like, unwavering ability, like, this really, really, I don't know how to say this, like, <laughs> um, yeah, you have, like, the, the, the universe has your back, okay? I feel like, and if you ever need something, like, they're there. Your, your guides are there. Your ancestors are, get, are there. Um, this card did come out in the reverse, so it does talk about manipulation. I feel like you're able to manipulate, like, water if you want to. So you could be a Scorpio Pluto generation. I'm hearing um, Cancer. Okay, so I'm hearing, like, uh, Fourth House. fourth house, twelfth house, and sixth house, no, eighth house in Mercury. So you have um, Mercury in those houses, or I'm hearing something about manipulation, manipulation of water or information. So you have like, I don't know what this is. Maybe when you shower, you know, like this, you feel different when you're in the shower, like when you're taking a bath or when you're taking a shower, like, you know, like you could feel the water talking to you. So you could, I don't know, I'm hearing like you talk to the gods of water or you talk to Iman Cha. So this is what makes you the shit. Like, I feel like you have this ability to talk to um, other elements or communicate with other elements, even though you are fire. I feel like you and water have a very, very special and um, sort of like sacred relationship. You guys understand each other. That's very strange that this came to me. I don't know where this came from, but you could have water in your chart. You could have like a moon and water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Moon. Um, you have a very, very like healthy relationship with water, Aries, okay? Maybe this is like they're telling you to drink more water. Maybe that's what they're telling me. Okay. Um, but with the Ace of Wands, like this talks about illumination, inspiration, potential. Okay. Um, it talks about awakening your unlimited potential and stepping into your personal power, which, you know, when I think of personal power, I think of Aries. It's an, it's like I see the ones. I always see the ones that I think of Aries when I think when I see the Ace of Wands, I think of Aries. But this is the hand of God. I feel like you have a direct connection to God, okay? You have a very direct connection to, to God. I feel like if you say something, God is like, okay, that answers your prayers. If you ask God to do anything, God answers your prayers, okay? Um, especially with the Princess of Cups, you know, this is someone who may need assistance at times. And, you know, you are the baby, okay? You are the baby. Um, this is mirroring the Ace of Wands. So I don't want to see like you have a direct connection to God. God values you. God really, really loves you. God supports everything you do. Um, like I hear the second, like the second you think of something and you say, God, why? God is answering you. So you have like this, um, how do you say it? I don't even know, like a strong connection to source. All right. It's just really beautiful. I like this. Okay. Um, also it's because you tell the truth. I'm hearing too. It's because you tell the truth. God knows your heart. Yeah. I'm hearing God knows your heart. All right. Well, what else? Let's see. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Okay. With the Ace of Wands, they really want you to listen to your intuition. Okay. I don't know. Like for somebody here, this could talk about your intuition. All right. The fire. I'm hearing fire intuition. Fire intuition. Yeah. Um, they want you to listen to it. Okay. At this time, especially right now. Oh, I'm so sleepy. What was I going to do? Oh, my God. I was going to use that today. I didn't use it. All right, so with the Six of Cups. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm so sleepy. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> we have familiar, familiar, uh, familiar, I can't even say that word. We have innocence and nostalgia. Okay, so I feel like um, people remember you. This is why you're the shit. People only remember good things about you, Aries. And if, like people look back on their life, they look at times in their life where you were there. That's what I'm hearing. Um, you're a good friend. That's what I'm hearing. You're a good friend, Aries. Um, you could have strong 11th house placements. I don't know. Maybe you do. Um, or you have placements, um, Aries in the 11th house. Oh my God, seriously? I'm going to be tired. <laughs> like every five seconds I'm yawning. Like what's wrong with me? Are you tired right now? I'm like so tired. <laughs> oh my god, Aries. Oh, also, like, okay, that's an omen. Every time, like, I feel like if you guys are working and you're tired, I don't know, like, whatever it is you're doing, you're, you're tired, you still push through, you still do it. You, you do what you gotta do, Aries, okay? 
Um, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Look, like, going back to the Six of Cups. Um, somebody is taking this, somebody is like, like remembering your childhood memories with them. They remember you. They remember your, your, your innocence, how warm you were. Um, they keep reliving the past memories about you. I feel like what really makes you the shit is the fact that you're, I think you're like one of their coolest friends. Okay. I'm hearing like, you're the coolest guy I ever knew. You're the coolest girl I ever knew, man. Man, I wonder what Aries is doing. I feel like people are always wondering about you. That's another thing, like, what makes you, the, it, like, the entire shit is that people will bring you up and, you know, like, some people bring people up and they get a bad taste in their mouth. Not with you. When people bring you up, they get a, there's a smile. They, a smile comes to their face. Somebody says something about you, Aries, um, you're, like, I don't know, like, they either start cracking up or they, <laughs> they're laughing. They're like, oh, they're just smiling, you know? I don't know. I feel like they're just happy because they're like, Wow. I wonder what he's up to. You know, like you make you you make people miss you, make people wonder what, what, you're, what you're up to, and that's why you're the shit. Okay. Um, I feel like too. Oh, what else makes you the shit? Oh, is your ability to reunite with your inner child. Okay. So your playful side. It's your ability to be playful. Yeah, I feel like you guys are not all serious. Some people think you're very serious, but I feel like um, you guys know how to play. This is what makes you really cool and awesome. Um, there's always room, right, for more laughter and joy. I feel like you you have a very open heart, Aries. I do. I feel like you guys are very open. Um, you know, you are the first of the Zodiac. Obviously, you're not biased. <laughs> you're not biased. You don't give a fuck. You're like, I don't care. You support everybody. You love everybody. I think, too, what makes you really cool is that you accept everyone. Yeah, you you accept all cultures, all races. I love this about you, Aries. Like, I feel like you guys accept everybody, no matter where they're from. You don't care because you're all about pioneering. You're all about standing out. So you appreciate a person who's working, who worked really hard. Who Like, I don't know. I'm seeing, like, you might have a strong connection to people who are from other countries or traveled the world. People who have traveled the world. You like t meeting new people. I'm seeing like people from all over, okay? They really like you because you're so, I feel like you're very welcoming. Um, this is another reason why you're the shit. I don't know, I'm hearing strong Sagittarius placements. You're maybe um, a Sagittarius Saturn or, um, you know, Saturn and Sag, that from a very young age, they were restricted in a lot of ways, um, both, both um, physically, you know, traveling and stuff, and then um, intellectually. I'll say intellectually because um, Sag is sort of like, Higher, higher learning, okay? But I, I've seen, like, you guys, um, oh, you could be a humanitarian. You know, if you have Saturn and Sag, you could be humanitarian, or this is something that you, you know, you, have, you, you had a hard upbringing, so you might um, be relating. You might be able to relate to people who are going through things right now, um, can't afford clothes, stuff like that. I feel like you guys are going to give back to your community. That's another reason why you're awesome. Another reason why you're the shit is because you guys give back to people. You really care, and you can relate to them, Okay. I'm going to get one Oracle message, and then we're going to get out of here. But if you guys made it this far, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. I do apologize. I'm, I'm a little congested today, and I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> Terrible combination, but it is what it is. All right, let's get one Oracle message for Aries. Check out all the new merchandise, you guys. Check out the abundance oils, the manifestation oils, the protection oils, protection candles, and all that stuff over there on the shop. It's right there in the description if you want to see it. Okay, you guys. And yeah, check out your free personal readings. They are the second, third, and fourth link. Oh, did you see how that just flipped out so nicely? <laughs> Earth school. Ooh, baby. Okay, well, he looks like Peter Pan. I just hear Peter Pan syndrome. All right, no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Earth school, life's lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. What did I say? I feel like you're coming into your own, coming into your, uh, coming into your own right now, Aries. Uh, again, I keep hearing Saturn and Sag. You may feel like um, you're a late bloomer. You're not. You're right on time. You're right on time. Okay. I feel like what's also what also makes you the shit is you're like the underdog. I don't. I'm hearing you're the underdog, and, and and people have you fucked up. People underestimate you. Okay. So I feel like what makes you the shit is that you keep your composure. You kept your composure. All right. The whole time. Nobody saw it coming. I feel like you're about to blow up, Aries. I do. I feel like you're about to blow up. I see, like, literally flying. Like, you're having dreams about flying? Aries, are you having dreams about flying? I'm not talking about in a plane. I'm talking about with your own arms, your own, like, you just flying. Have you ever, dreamed, have you ever had a dream like that and it felt real? 
I had dreams like that all the time. I have dreams like that recently where I was flying. Oh, it's beautiful. Something beautiful is coming. That's what it means. Something really beautiful, abundant is coming in your life. This could be money. I see, I see a lot of money coming in. Um, but flying is a really good sign. Okay? It means you're free. It talks about freedom. It's freedom. You know, birds, they're free. So, I don't know. Um, ooh, this is good news. I feel like there's a good news coming in for you. I do. Look at him. He's just coming out. Of, I don't know what he's coming out of, like a portal or something. He's like coming out of the sky into back to the world, back to the earth. Anyways, I love you. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.